the job so dangerous that you have to live in a pressurized chamber for weeks just to survive it. Try to leave too fast, your body explodes, and you sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks the entire time. Welcome to the life of a saturation diver, one of the most dangerous jobs on the planet. Work at depths of up to a thousand feet. Breathing normal air would be a one-way ticket to death because of a problem called nitrogen narcosis. At high pressures, nitrogen dissolves into the bloodstream and acts like an anesthetic, making divers loopy, disoriented, and eventually unconscious. Oxygen becomes toxic under extreme pressure. Too much of it can trigger seizures and lung damage. Enter Heliox. It's a mixture of helium and oxygen. Helium replaces nitrogen. It's a lightweight inert gas that doesn't cause narcosis. It also reduces breathing resistance because dense gases become harder to inhale the deeper you go. You ever tried breathing through a straw? Imagine that straw is filled with maple syrup. That's what it's like to try to breathe regular air at a thousand feet below. Helium keeps the gas mixture thin and breathable, preventing suffocation from sheer density. But helium has one beloved side effect. It cranks up the pitch of your voice. Sound waves travel almost three times faster through helium, which messes with the resonance of the vocal cords. The most hardcore, extreme deep sea workers sound like they just inhaled a bunch of party balloons. Why don't they just go back to the surface at the end of the day? Well, because the pressure change would kill them. Instead, they live in these pressurized chambers for weeks, keeping their bodies adjusted to the crushing depths.